Okay, today I'm going to attempt to switch out the internal uh, control module on my Train XE80 furnace. Uh, kind of the problem we've been having is we will turn the thermostat on to heat and it sends the signal over to our control module on the furnace. Um, and I don't know if you can see it here, but there is a slow blinking light and the diagnostic indicator says that for a slow blinking light that it is no call for heat. Even when you hot wire by touching the W and R manually together to uh, do a call for heat, you will see, let me turn this light off so you can see the light flashing here. You can see that it has the fast light calling for heat. And then after some time, it fails to call for the gas and goes to a solid light. The solid light indicates internal control failure replace. And so uh, I did purchase this replacement. I purchased this replacement from eBay. Um, as you can see, it is a different module, but according to the documentation that came with it, uh, it is a valid replacement for this particular unit. And so I'm going to now attempt uh, to do this. Um, I do want to say that I'm no HVAC technician. I'm not certified. Um, I'm not even very mechanical when it comes to these things at all. Uh, but I'm going to do my best because my family is cold and uh, we want to get our furnace going once again. Okay, so the first thing that it calls for is to uh, disconnect all power. Um, let's see if I can get this over here. Okay, ours is plugged in right here. I'll just go ahead and disconnect that power. You may hear the hum stop. Um, it also asks that I turn off the uh, the gas to the gas line and it's right here. Okay, so the gas has been turned off. Now I should have no power whatsoever going to this. Um, also wanted to indicate that the thermostat is on the off position inside of our house. So uh, there you go on that. Okay, now these should be color coded. Uh, according to the instructions, everything is very intuitive. But uh, just to be on the safe side, what I'm going to do is as I disconnect the lines from here, I'm going to connect them into this particular unit um, so that I can make sure that everything's done correctly. Okay, so I've got the circulator blower lines disconnected from the old unit and attached here to the new. Um, I guess, you know, in time we will see if that was done correctly and hopefully I didn't ruin something here in the process. Uh, the next thing here is uh, these particular ones right here and I don't know what those stand for, but let's see if we can get that out. Perfect. Okay. And it was correct in that this is extremely intuitive. And then it is just where one comes out, the other one goes in. And it's uh, fairly straightforward and uh, color coded. So that first one there was CIR, which is right here. Next one is line. Which is right there. And then XF MR. Just 
just like so. Fantastic. Okay, and then the next one that looks very easy is uh, this big one right here. Okay, it looks like I've got this one out here. Um, and there's something on this board that looks the same. So I'm just going to plug that in. It does seem very, very idiot proof and straightforward, but again, we shall see whenever I try to power this thing back up. Okay, um, so with all of that being done, uh, these are the easy ones I would say. The next to uh, remove and replace will be all of these that I have to unscrew. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and do these in the uh, same order that they're done here as to hopefully not mess anything up. Okay, uh, that took a little bit of time to get all of these wires disconnected and uh, connected to here. So I just went ahead and turned the camera off, but basically it's all color coded. You've got Y for yellow, W for white, R for red, G for green, and C for cyan or uh, blue. Um, a couple of these had two different wires that had to be connected under uh, the same screw. Uh, those include the yellow and the cyan. Um, I did have to disconnect this larger connection here in order to maneuver around. And so the next step, um, things are still unplugged. Uh, you know, we're all disconnected. There's no power going to anything. And so now we need to remove these four self-tapping screws that are right here. And because this is a different sized unit, uh, the holes will have to go in a different spot. Okay, there's one, two, three. Okay, and there is our old unit completely taken out. Okay, and now as you can see, the old unit uh, has been removed, and it is, uh, it's quite a bit different. It's a lot larger than the new one, but uh, it does appear that all the same connections are the same. Um, I see here that this one was assembled in Mexico. The, uh, the new unit was made in China. Um, so now I'm going to install uh, this new module. I'm going to screw it into this metal plating right here and uh, I'll show you the finished product and we'll do a test in just a sec. Okay, so now as you can see and probably hear, I do have call for heat. Um, I do have gas burning in the furnace. Uh, here in just a few minutes, the chill should be taken off in my house and uh, we have fixed our Train XE80 furnace uh, by changing out the uh, internal control module um, that again is part number CNT1309, uh, the aftermarket replacement here I show as White Rogers replacement part number 50A55-486.